So I'm coming out to a call here for a no heat. Um, we do, we used to do maintenance on this building. Um, after COVID kind of hit, they had to cut their budget and it's actually for a hotel. So we no longer do maintenance out here. We just kind of come out here when stuff breaks down and they have a guy here who kind of does the filters and stuff like that. Um, got out here, uh, they basically told me this is for the kitchen area um downstairs and i have like an online app all the thermostats are tied into so i i logged in and definitely could you kind of go back on the history and see that this hasn't been heating for a few days here um and kind of could see all the history on that so then i got up here um i wanted to recycle cycle the power so i shut it down and turned it back on i just wanted to see kind of what it was doing uh, it went into all the normal sequence of operation. Everything kind of kicked on like it's supposed to. The inducer is running. Um, I ended up getting power to the igniter down here. Um, but I was noticing there's like a little sight hole you can kind of see right there. You can look in that little black circle right there. Um, you can look through there and I wasn't seeing anything glowing. Uh, I had power so I disconnected this little Molex plug here. Uh, I took my ohm readings and it was extremely high. I think it was like 560 something ohms or something like that. Um, started talking with them out here and just told them I had a bad igniter um, on site. And they said that we apparently had just done an igniter and the inducer motor assembly. So I call up my shop to touch base with my dispatcher. And basically he did say that we just did um, do those repairs like a month ago. Uh, so I touched base with the, the tech that was out here and come to find out it's just a lot of miscommunication by my office which kind of made us look bad out here but um, apparently the igniter, the new igniter he had was broken and he was supposed to be getting out here like the next day apparently and then our dispatcher kind of dropped the ball on it. Um, our dispatcher usually orders parts and stuff like that for us and does scheduling and everything. So he uh, he just didn't get us back out here and the tech never really touched base with it either. Um, that's part of the reason why I always try to recommend leaving the little notes. I kind of talk about it in some of my other videos, just leaving a little note in the unit of what's what's going on. So that way if you're getting out here, it's, it's pretty apparent. Like I wouldn't have to waste any time re-diagnosing something that was already known by our shop that was bad. So um yeah i always recommend leaving those notes on everything you just never know if you're gonna be the tech that comes back or if something like that communication gets lost along the way but uh, luckily uh, the igniter is something i stock in my truck um, and if you want the part number it's it's right there but yeah i got that new igniter in there i always try to do um, the new brackets uh, gasket everything I kind of everything comes with it um, these screws I'm sure some people have ran into it that are watching this where they'll get either rusted in or the bracket that holds the thread on the other side breaks off so that it gets all loose um, so I try to put new ones in whenever I can just so you're not having that happen to you because when it does happen it's a huge pain in the ass to get everything to line up and make it all look right um, but yeah this this is one of the train voyagers yeah, these igniters are pretty pretty prone to going out. I'm sure, like I said, other people watching this have, have had to do these igniters. It's just a, it's a really common thing. Um, I checked the belt in here as well. Everything looked good with that. So I got, um, I'll be getting this new igniter in here and firing everything off. There's not a lot to this. It's pretty simple and straightforward, especially once you find out that it was already supposed to have been done. Um, but this should get them heat going again um and get their kitchenary heating again so we had a uh, some snow the other other day and it's all kind of up here still and been cold so they'll be appreciate appreciating it um if you like the video give a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe uh thank you guys for watching